ஹலோ காய்ஸ் வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு மிட்டியர் அகாடமி ஒன் ஆஃப் த லீடிங் அகாடமி இன் ட்ரைனிங் நர்சஸ் இன் தர் காம்பிடேட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் ஐஎல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஓஇடி ட்ரைனிங் அண்ட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி சால்வ்டு கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் நர்சிங் ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் காய்ஸ் இஃப் யூ லைக் திஸ் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் லைக் இட் ஷேர் இட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் இட் அண்ட் டோன்ட் ஃபர்கட் டு கிளிக் ஆன் த பெல் ஐக்கான் த டாபிக் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் இஸ் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு நர்சிங் ரிசர்ச் The first question is to answer the questions by scientific approach and data collection is termed as the option given here are problem solving research decision making and activity analysis this question has been igno bsc nursing competitive exam and the correct answer here is option b that is research Here the author says that research is defined as the systematic and scientific process to answer question about the facts and the relationship between the facts. So they clearly mention it is a scientific approach. So if you know this definition you can easily click on to the answer research. The next question is using precise method to investigate problem and arrive at solution is called as and the given options are critical thinking scientific problem solving planning and execution trial and error this question asked two times in nursing competitive exam aims nagpur nursing officer 2020 as well as aims bhopal nursing officer 2018 and here the correct answer is option b scientific problem solving so in to investigate the problem and to arrive at solution is collectively called as scientific problem solving it is a direct question the next question is the ultimate purpose of all nursing research is to the options are stimulate more research in nursing improve care of patient broaden one knowledge base discover explanation to theories this question asked in 2010 rack msc nursing entrance exam and given correct answer is option b that is improve care of patient the rational behind this is the ultimate goal of all nursing research is to provide high quality nursing care that is to improve the care of patient based on evidence based practice if you know this definition easily you can click on to option b that is improve care of patient the next question is the use of research in nursing is the options are to develop scientific knowledge to improve quality of nursing care to improve decision making all of the above this question asked in rpsc nursing tutor exam 2012 this is a direct question and here the correct answer is d all of the above The next question is which one of the following is the scope of nursing research options are to develop the answers to develop the assessment to develop the concept to develop the knowledge this question asked in 2019 rrb staff nurse so here the correct answer is option d to develop the knowledge the next question is The fundamental aim of research in nursing is to the options are provide credibility to the nursing profession provide an evidence base for nursing care support medical research provide research training for nurses this question asked two times in nursing competitive exam 2009 RPSC nursing tutor exam 2013 RUHS BSc nursing competitive exam and here the correct answer is option b provide an evidence based for nursing care the reason behind this is the evidence based nursing involves identifying the solid research finding and implementing them in the nursing practices and to improve the quality of patient care so this is the fundamental aim of the research in nursing see guys similarly one more question they asked related to evidence based practice the question goes like this which of the following clinical nursing practice is recommended as most important to healthcare and nursing care professional today 
This question asked in 2010 Sri Chitra Trivandrum Stoffner's Competitive Exam. The given options are primary care nursing, community based nursing, authoritative nursing, and evidence based practice. And here the correct answer is option D evidence based practice. Next question is which of the following statement is not applicable in evidence based nursing practice? And the options are to ensure the best quality of care given to patient, to ensure the nursing decisions are based on the best quality of evidence, to use the research evidence in nursing practice does not need to be evaluated after it is used or implemented. The last one is evidence used in nursing practice must be apprised for its validity and applicability. This question asked in AIMS Nursing Officer Exam Nagpur. 2020 and here the correct answer is option C the use of research evidence in nursing practice does not need to be evaluated that is the wrong statement it has to be evaluated even though it is used in the nursing setup again and again the evaluation and validation is required the next question is what is the most reliable means of obtaining nursing knowledge trial and error authority tradition and scientific research this question asked in 2019 rrb stoffner's competitive exam this is a direct question and the answer is option d scientific research the next question is a researcher who is comparing effectiveness of two different wound treatment on the speed of healing would be based in the option given here or naturalistic paradigm inductive paradigm Dialectic paradigm, positivist paradigm. This question has been 2013 or UHS BSc Nursing Competitive Exam. And here the correct answer is option D, positivist paradigm. So the rationale behind this is, see the naturalistic paradigm. It is based on multiple interpretations and reality. And next one is inductive paradigm. It is based on you know observation and theories. dialectic paradigm it is a qualitative one and the positivistic paradigm it is also called as scientific and normative paradigm which tends to control the research condition through the scientific methods it uses two groups that is the main thing here that is experimental as well as controlled the next question is the foundation of research is based on which of the following The option given here are scientific method, critical thinking, experience, and evidence. This question asked in 2019 AIMS Raipur Nursing Officer. It is a direct question, and here the correct answer is option A, scientific method. The next question is the principle of ethics in nursing research include four options are given here: beneficence, respect for human dignity. Justice, all of the above. This question asked in 2013 or UHS Nursing Competitive Exam. Here the correct answer is B, all of the above. The rationale behind this is the ethical principles in nursing research are beneficence, informed consent, autonomy, justice, respect for human dignity, and confidentiality. If you know the list of these principles, you can select the answer D, all of the above. The next question is the child participation in decision making process about health care in term does This question asked in 2018 AIMS Bhubaneswar Stoffner's exam the option given here are collegiality advocacy ethics and assent Here the correct answer is option D assent In case of child aged between 7 to 18 years an assent is obtained instead of informed consent what is the meaning of assent assent means child affirmative agreement to participate in treatment research etc the next question is which of the following is not the element of an informed consent the options are purpose of study of answer only for selected questions subject selection process alternative procedure if any or disclosed This question asked in Sabdarjang Nursing Officer Exam 2018 and here the correct answer is option B 
see the participant have the full rights to know the purpose of study subject selection process potential risk or benefits alternative procedures or treatment and answer of every question or doubt in detail if you know this answer rational you can select the option b the last question is what is the characteristic of good research that includes order control generalization and dash This question asked in AIMS Raipur Nursing Officer Exam 2019 and here the correct answer is option A empiricalism the rationale behind this is the characteristics of the good research are as follows they are systematic logical empirical feasible ethical replicable etc so if you know this list you can go to the answer A empiricalism so guys if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon and if you have any doubts anywhere you can drop your message in the chat box thank you very much